Good morning everyone, welcome to this day in the life video. Anyway, it's 8.30 in the morning, I've just woken up and the first thing I'm going to do this morning is watch a bit of Casualty because I missed last night's episode and then I need to tidy my room today but other than that I don't really have any like specific plans. So I said I didn't have any specific plans that day but I did actually have a radio interview that night but at the moment I was just watching Casualty. So I've just got out of bed, I've tied my hair up um, and I'm now going to tidy my room because I've been meaning to do this for about a week and I still haven't done it and I'm a really messy person so I need to do that now. So it's now about 10.45, I've just finished tidying my room. It's still not completely tidy, but my room never really is, so we'll just accept that. Um, but I'll show you it now. So this is my finished room, here's some stuff to go downstairs. Obviously the hoover just does need to be moved, but it's lived here for five weeks of lockdown, so it can live here for another five hours or so until I move it. Um, this is where I film over here in case you're wondering what this kind of tower is. Um, I tidied up my desk and then on here I've just got a few bits of clothes, a few clothes. So I've just got dressed today, um, I'm just wearing this stripy top and these black denim shorts, denim? I think they're denim. Um, and I put my hair in a ponytail, so let's get on with the day. We're just going to ignore the, the hoover down here, still need to move that. Um, but I'm just about to put on some makeup because I'm about to film a video. So for those of you that have seen my other videos, this is probably a very familiar setup. It's just where I film. Um, I need to go and ask my mum to come and help me with the assumptions video. I haven't actually seen the assumptions yet. So it's going to be, I'm so nervous actually. I didn't think I'd be nervous. Uh, but that's the video we're filming today, which hopefully should have gone up before this one, but I don't know which order I'm uploading them in. Um, so I'm just about to go and get my mum to help me film that video. So I just thought I'd explain what you're going to see in the next clip. Basically, um, there was a little bit at the end of my video which I cut out the original, but I thought it would be a fun little extra to add in here. Okay, so that was your friends' questions. I've got family questions. Okay, you ready for these? Oh my gosh. Your bedroom is always a tip. Oh, yeah, my room's a tip. Um, I'm filming a day in the life as well today, so I don't know which one's going up first, but you'll see what my bedroom actually looks like. Uh, you never you never make your bed. Yeah, that's true as well. You're really exposing me now. I'm not enjoying this. Um, you rarely help with chores around the house. Yes. I load the dishwasher sometimes, and I tidy up after myself. I do cook for myself a lot of the time, so I guess that's my thing. You refused to help paint the garden fence during lockdown, and it took your mum four days to do it all on her own. This was an unnecessary task, okay? So she decided the fence looked rough. I thought it looked fine. Most people thought it looked fine. She decided she wanted to paint the fence um, and it took her four days and she was like, oh, will you help me? And we're like, no, it doesn't need doing, it looks fine. And she painted it in this absolutely horrific, like us insert picture now, but it's like spray tanned orange and it just makes it look like we're actually in Essex. We are in Essex. So I've actually just finished filming that video with my mum, so I need to go and get on with the editing. Because if you didn't know, I actually upload on Saturdays, Mondays and Wednesdays um, at six o'clock. So I actually edit in my brother's room because his computer is a lot more capable than my laptop. So 
So I'm actually just on my way to the shop because we haven't got any food in the house for lunch. So I'm just going over to get some stuff from the co-op. Today I'm gonna to be making flatbread pizza. Well, they're not, they're sandwich thin pizzas. But I know this isn't an actual pizza, please don't attack me, but I like the fact that I can make it myself and they're super quick and easy to do. So I'm gonna show you now how I make them. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting this slightly grubby tray, but we'll just ignore that. Um, it's, I used it yesterday for the same thing, so that's why it's grubby. But then I'm just getting the sandwich thins out like this, and then laying them out on my tray. Then the next thing I'm going to do is get the starter, tomato, pasta sauce, whatever you want to use, from the fridge and a spoon, and I'm just going to spread this all over. I'm now getting this giant chopping board and I'm just going to grate some of this cheese. Oops, I've grated the packet. Love that. So I then just move my cheese to the side before cutting up some toppings. I've got two different types of pepper, courgette, mushrooms and ham today, which I then put all over my sandwich thin pizzas. I then put my sandwich thin pizzas in the oven until the edges are brown and this normally takes about 10 minutes. So that is lunch for today, all made and ready to eat. And I am very excited. Um, I've even put my weird lemon and lime drink in this weird champagne, is it champagne flute? I don't know, I don't drink, can you tell? Um, I put it in this like, fancy glass thing I found in the cupboard. Realistically, it's just really impractical because it doesn't it doesn't hold much, but I'm very excited to eat my lunch. I'll just show you, this is what my pizzas turned out like in case you couldn't see them. So I've just finished my lunch, it was really nice, and the next thing I'm going to do is make a cake for my mum. So I'm going to make her a dark chocolate, banana and coconut loaf. Um, the recipe is actually from my friend Nikki, Nikki Lily, you might have seen her YouTube channel. Um, and she did it in a vlog like a few weeks back and I've just been making it ever since because my mum is actually, cel uh, she has celiac disease, which means that she can't eat foods that contain gluten. But this recipe is really good because it contains bananas, it's really moist and most gluten-free recipes are really like dry and just not very nice. So actually I'll insert a picture. I tried to make some gluten-free cookies and I think it's fair to say it did not go very well, um, as you can probably see from the picture, which hopefully I've put on screen now. Then other plans for this afternoon i need to finish the editing on my video and another thing which i'm doing this afternoon is i'm currently waiting on a call from the producer over at bbc essex because i'm actually on their young person show called hashtag essex tonight um and the way that it runs is that you get told the week before or sometimes on the day that you are on the show and then they phone you at some point um in the afternoon before the show which starts at seven to tell you what the topic is so that they can make it topical and relevant um so i'm just waiting to hear what that's going to be about so as you can see here, I was just peeling some bananas for my banana bread. I then whisked them together using this electric whisk because I'm too lazy to do it with a fork. Before adding flour, cocoa powder, bicarbonate of soda and baking powder. I then added brown sugar, an egg and some butter. The next step was to add the final wet ingredient, which is milk. The recipe only says one tablespoon, but to compensate for the dryness of the flour, I often add a little bit extra. And then I just mix this all together, again, using the electric whisk. It made a bit of a mess, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. 
I did this until all of the ingredients were combined and I had a bit of a disaster which you'll see in the next clip. Oops. No, I've got it on the wall. <gasps> Look at the wall. I then cut up the dark chocolate to put in the loaf itself. I realise now I actually could have just bought this and that would have been a lot quicker, but hey ho, I had fun doing this. I then added some coconut to the mixture. I didn't quite have enough, but that was fine, before also adding the chocolate. And then combine this all together before greasing a loaf tin and adding some baking paper so that my cake didn't stick. I then cut my bananas lengthways so that they looked a little bit like this and it's just purely so there's a decorative feature on the top of the cake. So then I took these and put them on the top of the cake. And so that is what my banana bread looks like once it is finished. And this needs to go in the oven for 50, 40 to 50 minutes. It normally takes mine 50 minutes to an hour um, at 140 degrees. So I'm gonna put that in the oven now. This is my finished cake. I am gonna ice it in a bit, but it needs to cool off first. So I've just finished icing the cake. I can't say it's my best ever, but it will do. So I forgot to mention actually what I was doing in the afternoon, but I actually spent most of the afternoon reading my book. I'm currently reading a book about geography and economics, and it's really, really interesting. It's called The Almighty Dollar, and I would highly recommend so far. I've just made dinner. I've got some tomato pasta. I'm super excited to eat. I can't really see, but... Um, let's tuck into my dinner. So I didn't explain this, but after dinner I had my radio interview, so I was just logging on to Zoom, which is how we do the interviews at the moment. Um, and tonight's topic was all about going back to school because this was just before schools were going back. I'm going to introduce Imogen next. Um, you were part of the Girl Guide Spoke at the House of Commons. Uh, you've been travelling, now you're home. Um, so how's, how's your lockdown been? What have you been up to this past 10 weeks? Yeah, it's not been too bad. Obviously, I came home from travelling and then I really didn't have much to do at all. Um, so I got quite bored and I've actually decided to start a YouTube channel. So um, I've been working really hard on that recently, um, talking all things gap year, travelling, applying to university. Um, so, yeah, trying to help other people. How exciting. If they were in their school years still and we're having to go back to school right now, would they feel safe? Uh, who wants to kick this one off? Should we start with you, Imogen? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I would feel okay about going back. Obviously, there's all this talk about a second wave, and I guess we won't really see what happens until kind of two weeks down the line. After my radio interview, I just went for a walk with my family and tonight the view and the sunset was just absolutely stunning. So every night we play... <laughs> Stop it. So every night we play badminton as a family and you're going to see what that looks like now. So as you can tell by the wet hair, I've just had a shower and that's kind of the end of today um, in terms of the video and also I'm just going to bed in a minute. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, give this a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Mm -hmm.